Welcome back to Ratus, Lord of the Dead, folks. We wiped out in the last episode, so that was pretty bad, but we are, we have recovered quite okay. The problem was really that we lost some nice parts on some units. We had given a leech a better skull and better rags. We lost that leech. We had given a bride better flesh. We lost that bride. And it was legendary stuff that we had given them, right? So we are a bit short on parts right now. We do have two talent points, and I'm looking a little bit at the trees here, and I think I want to move down this tree, because over here, Brides of Eratus receive plus 10 luck, plus 10 evasion, and plus 10 accuracy. That's very nice. And then increases the amount of wrath that Eratus gains in battle by 50%. That's very nice too. And also here increases the bigger recovery rate of minions not in battle by 100%. The skeletons I don't really care about, except if we have to summon, but if we have to summon, then we're in deep shit anyway. But I do want at least the bride thing here, and maybe this one as well, and this one. So transformation, move, the move down here, and then we will get this and this okay and we also of course get more artifacts which is nice so we i think all we need to do really is head back into battle we have a bride and a dark knight uh, training up here we do have everything else filled up so that's good and we still haven't unlocked these. We just need to get gather six more bones. Then we get the bone golem. I'm looking forward to that to see what that does. Then we have the dampiers, which we need to lure over to our side. I have no idea how to do that. We need to turn three enemies into vampires. I have no idea how to do that. And then we need to do a lot of damage to our own minions. Uh, I've kind of been avoiding that. It doesn't seem like a good idea to me to damage your own minions, but I guess it's something that we'll have to do at some point to, to unlock the ghoul as well. But let's head into the dungeon and move to the next fight and see what happens here. If we wipe out again or what we do. Okay, there's a new dude there that I haven't seen before. What does he do, I wonder? A heavy fire thrower. 18 to 22 damage, 135 health, 155 sanity, 13 armor, no resistance though. So that's good. And he's not super accurate, only 90%. Okay. So you are going to go into your stance. <laughs> You're gonna wait. Six damage. I can handle that. Okay, she got debuffed. Loses all armor and resistance for the entire battle. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Let's stick you into your stance as well. And you are going to play Cloud here. Take away his ward at least. He moves forward, okay. Moved into the cloud. Turtle advance, plus six armor, plus six resistance. I guess he wants to get to the front to attack. It makes sense. The flames would go through his friends if he attacked from behind. So I think we'll push him back. He went insane. Move. Get maximum damage there. 26 on him for moving into the cloud. Let's push you back and into the cloud. Okay. Very good. You get back into your stance. You get back into your stance. You let's stick a plate cloud here. 
sanity is basically insane now. Well, out of sanity, I would say, was already insane. Debuff, debuff. Quick debuff. I don't know what that does. Nice. So he is out of sanity. They're getting buffed. Which moves him. Nice, he died from the cloud. He's gonna attack. Nice, he had a heart attack. He went insane. And there we go. He's out of sanity as well. Ooh, this one. Nice, he died bowels, from a heart attack. Just as it died. Outstanding, this is going well. He's insane. He doesn't have an ally to attack though, so that sucks. Let's stress attack him. Just get that sanity out of the way. Okay. Put down the play cloud. So we ha we basically haven't taken any damage because we're healing a every, every time it's someone's turn she that minion heals eight. My kingdom so, comes. So that's good. That's very good. This guy has to die soon. Yeah, there we go. Heart attack. Okay. So that went well. That went well, and we got. Quite a lot of items here or parts. Got another scroll of Skullfall and a hook. They trained a bit. Some experience for Eratus. An uh, uncommon weapon, which is nice, and an armor. Okay. So that went well, and the Fox Squad is at full health. Let's just take a quick look at the hook. Enemies are 15% less likely to escape, but that would go in instead of the standard of darkness, so we're not doing that. We are not doing that. Okay. So yeah, that went really, really well. We need some junk to sacrifice here. I think we'll go with a skeleton. Now let's go with... We only have that weapon, so we're not going to go with that. Mummy? Maybe? Nah. Zombie? No. I think we'll go with the skeleton. We don't use that much dust. You know what? Let's go with the shade. I will cast a long shadow oh, over my foes. There. We want to go to the dungeon because we're going to sacrifice the shade on the altar here. Okay, we got a couple of these plus five evasion turning starting turn at four position. Eratus gains three percent chance to acquire extra parts after victory. And then we have another one, plus five evasion, striking a critical hit, plus two attack for two turns. Okay, and then starting at turn at position four, plus two initiative, plus one attack for two turns. Plus two armor, starting at turn at position one, plus two luck for three turns. And warding pendant, all minions gain plus one ward until the battle ends. That's pretty good. Let's see. So, we had something about starting at position 1 here, plus 2 armor, which is also good for him, because he is our tank, so we're going to give that to him, giving a little bit of luck every time he starts his turn. And we have two items that are starting at position 4, so we're going to give them to you. Actually, one of them could go to the Banshee. I think I'll give this to the Banshee and I'll give 
this to the bride. Yeah. Banshee, you get this one for plus two initiative for you. So that's nine initiatives she has now. That's pretty good. And then we have the critical hit thing, plus two attacks for two turns. And I think we're going to give that to the bride as well, because she has a good chance of doing a critical strike. And it also gives us another 5% evasion on her. Oh, she can't double up on that. That's too bad. Then I think we'll give it to the Lich. Give him a bit of evasion. Okay. Okay. Good. So, we did level up. I think, no we didn't. Well, we did, but not enough that we can move down and get this. The formula well, may reveal their okay, we did. So we can now get that. We have skeletons gain plus 20 bigger. Don't really care about that. What we care about is down here. Okay. So another battle and then a quest and another battle. Seems like a lot of battles, doesn't it? And then we'll move this way around. There's another sacrificial altar. Which is really nice. There is a healing fountain here. And there's a steli here. So yeah. Alright. Let's go into battle again. Okay. Oh, what's that? And what's that? Golden Golem. 13 resistance, okay. That's quite a lot of resistance on that. 145 health, no sanity. But basically, we need to hope that a cloud kills it. Then we have Elite Musketeer, 27 to 31 damage. Ouch. No wards or resistance or armor or anything like that. 120 health, 120 sanity. Very good accuracy, very good luck. So he is going to be dangerous. Let's get you into your stance. Oh, 27 damage there. That hurts. You're going to have to wait. Okay, he got buffed. We're going to put down the play cloud here. Oh. 10 damage on him. Okay. Maybe we should. I think I'm gonna have Bissell Hunger here. I'm, go I'm gonna wait one turn and then Abyssal Hunger, but I'm thinking that maybe we should get some more mana so we can get the whole bigger thing. But for right now, I'm going to go into my stats here. And you are going to push this back into the cloud. I know that it's a moon, but we want it Get it into a cloud. Okay. <laughs> you get back in your stance. You. Push him. Back into the cloud. Alright, he went insane. Absurd thing. Let's put down a cloud here. We're going to Abyssal Hunger now. Heal up. Good miss on the first one. Good debuff. Minus 5 attack, minus 5 dread. 
Okay. So neither of these two are starting their turn in position four right now, which sucks. Does she have anything that gives him mana? No. Right, you get back in your stance. You push that back. I think I'm wasting my attacks here, maybe, but it is what it is. Okay, she's marked. But she does have a thing. Lose all initiative and enemy musketeers attack deal more damage. The mark this spell when the target will move. Okay. Let's put down a play cloud here. Start working on him as well. He missed, unfortunately. He did move into that. Let's get back in the stance. He's debuffing again. I pulled him into that. Oh, 58! Jesus Christ! She had to block up, so that's good. You are going to push. Craft nice heart attack. He went insane and he starts taking sanity damage. Uh, we're gonna put down a cloud here in the middle. You kill it already. 20 damage. Ouch. That's not too bad. We're going to Abyssal Hunger here. You will soon embrace your new existence. She doesn't have anything that gives him mana, so let's go back into the stance. Let's go back into the stance. 22 damage. I'm gonna push you. Let's stress attack this guy. Alright, he went insane. Cardis, unfortunately not betrayal. Let's stick down a play cloud here. I really want this golden golem to die from the play cloud. So, Alright, he died. This is what a Excellent. thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah. Miss pathetic. Okay. Let's crescendo here. Debuff them a bit. Okay, you. Ah, your him into frail the bodies cloud. fail you. He's marked now. As worthless right, yes. as you were in life, you will be worth Finally. something in death. Down another cloud here. Give them no mercy. Okay, you abyssal hunger. Then a bit of healing going. You crescendo. Heart attack. Good. A sad display of mortal kind. Okay, so these three. The Dark Knight, the Banshee, and the Bride will basically be fully healed again because of our 15% thing. We do need to swap out the Leech, though, I think. We got some parts and some Architect Souls. Okay. Yeah, the Leech needs to be swapped out. The Dark Knight and the Bride are training some more, some more experience, some uncommon flesh, and some rags. 
So let's see, where do we have our reserve lich? Here, and it's level one. We're gonna have to give it a brain. Okay. We do have a level four brain. So let's give it that. And... 5% wow. chance to die. Prove yourself worthy of Some my initiative. And I think some vigor. Or maybe a ward. Let's do my a ward. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Okay. How close are you to level one? And you level up to three. Okay. And how about these guys? They are level two and three. Okay. Alright, back to the dungeon. And let's do this quest. As you advance closer toward your goal, you feel an odd rise of temperature. Here and there you start seeing various hissing pipes protruding from stone recently worked. Suddenly you come across a much more open cavern. Thick smoke polluting the air as a great eerie furnace burns with blinding intensity. You realize, you realize what you have discovered. This is a dwarven crematorium. This is how they get rid of that dead. Your intrusion has not gone undetected as a group of dwarven flamethrowers move in to give you a warm welcome. You only have a few seconds to react. Fight or withdraw. We're gonna fight. Okay, two flamethrowers, elite flamethrowers, I think. A traitor and a warrior. Yeah, they are elite heavy fire throwers. Okay. Let's crescendo them. Or what? No, let's... Yeah, let's crescendo. Let's crescendo. Debuff them all. Take away his... Ward. Okay, let's start working on their sanity here. Really have liked him to be in his stance there. It's been useful. Okay. One Ooh, by he one, insta kill there. Nice. Vanishes from this Very nice. World. Turtle advance again. You are going to go into your stance now. You are going to play cloud here. Buffs him, which means that they move. He's insane. He's going to attack. Nice. He's going to buff again. He's going to attack. Very nice. Very nice indeed. He buffs, the move. He missed, unfortunately. But we got all their wards gone. He buffs again and they move. Outstanding. This is my heart attack. Excellent. You are insane. And Savor the these last the cloud. few Got heartbeats. Hit by the dark side and the cloud as well. Excellent. So there won't be much buffing going on anymore. So let's just hollow stare. 37 damage. That's very nice. He's gonna push me back. We would very much like him to die first. So he doesn't get to start the turn in the first position. Maybe I'll crash. Alright, heart attack. Excellent. So he took some damage. She's gonna steam at him for a bit and a heart attack there. Excellent. 
Oh, you know, this Our Lich took a bit of damage, but it's going to be basically fully healed again. And we do have the other one that will be healed as well. We got some nice parts and another mana crystal. I think we have three of those now. And the Humanarium token for the Elite. Flamethrower thing. A quest reward. Eurus has received a bonus 25% chance to get parts after battle. Duration one floor. Okay. So on this floor, we have that chance. And we get some bone skulls and stuff. Very cool. Okay. Ah. Uh, you haven't healed because it was a quest battle. Fair enough. But this is basically fully healed, so it's fine. Okay, let's see. What do we give you here? I think we give you this one so that you can get actually give to battle. get both get the resistance and give her Eratus some mana if you use it and then the dark knight leveled up and we are going to give him another armor or do we want to give him this one or Eratus gains plus 12 mana and two initiative I think we give him that the initiative. Results. Okay. Good. Back to the dungeon and we are moving on to the next battle. There are certainly some berserkers in there. A berserker, a fire thrower, an elite musketeer, and a warrior. You stands up. Actually, crescendo. That's crescendo. You wait. You stands up. Nice. One damage on the crit. That's not bad. That's not bad. He's gonna. Stands up in advance, and we're gonna stick in a cloud here. Start working on that sanity. Okay, let's push you. We don't want to push the fire throw forward. Basically, want that to be backward. Ouch! 34 health. Jesus. Let's stand up. And push here. Nice, he went insane. Okay. Doesn't seem that there's much buffing going on here, so I don't think it's worth worth getting into this stance. Uh, it just might be worth using this, I think it is, well, to heal up I'm the Lich. Bigger. Hopefully not have a loss here. And we'll do a hollow stare on this guy. So his sanity is basically gone. Ow. Oh! 55 damage. We need him to move. We need him to move. We're gonna do that. Remove the mark and get him back. Okay. Which means that you don't have any point in stancing and you can't stance. This will move you forward. Let's... Hmm. Let's stress attack them here. Uh, <coughs> the Shendo thing. 
You cannot cloud now. So... Hmm. Let's just buff again. And you are going to do a hollow stair on you die 71 and it didn't die. Damn it. He's marked again. But that's fine because we are going to push this guy back now, which means she will move back. And he moves. Why didn't he lose his mark there? <laughs> Alright, you died. He should never gets old. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Those musketeers are nasty. <laughs> really, really nasty. Okay. Let's start working on him a bit as well. Maybe get him insane to so trays instead. That would be useful. He wants to escape. Let's restore him to full sanity. Give our archers some mana. We hadn't lost much anyway though. Okay. Press him out some more and push him back. He's insane. He wants to escape in his next turn. He's gonna escape now, so that was a bit of a waste. You are gonna crescendo. She got marked. Almost there, you. He escaped. So now we... You know what? Hmm, can we get you to move somehow? He's at the back and all she has is move back, so we cannot. Hmm. You know what? I think it's gonna be more effective to focus on physical damage. I'm gonna do that so he skips his turn. Is it physical damage or... No, it is stress damage, so let's stress. You're gonna wait. I really want her to take her turn first. Oh, it's at the end of the turn, so... Okay, alright, she's taking her turn, which means that we can get her to move back. But we can't. Because then we're restoring him to full sanity, which we don't want to do. So, yeah. It's his turn. He's gonna shoot her. Ooh. At least not a kill. At least not a kill. Okay. You can scream at him. There we go. We lost the leech, unfortunately. I'd hate to see plants get a level using four it brain. as fertilizer. So we can make another bride. We actually already have another bride, right? So, and we have another lich. So we'll do that. 
Let's see if we can make another lich. We can. We have enough to make an upgraded one of any kind. We need one more skull. We need a lot more bones. Uh, actually, if we look at this, then we can make an upgraded one with a, a better skull. We cannot make one with better bones. Or dust or rags, but the skull we can do. So let's make a better skull. Behold my work. A skeleton we will clean up this mess later. After that. Yeah. So plus two initiative, plus one ward, plus six vigor. That is very, very nice. So let's create a lich. And all of these are basic, except the skull here, which is legendary. Ooh, a you vessel of indiscriminate magical carnage. Give you a four brain here. And... Now, give you that. prove yourself worthy of my investment. Give you... The ward here. I expect I give you the initiative. Results. Serve me right, well. So that's eight initiative for him. Our pride has leveled up. So what do we give her? I think we give her this one. Both so Iratus gains mana and she gets plus two resistance. Get back to battle. I think that'll work. And I actually think I'll take this stitch out. And we'll stick this one in here to do a bit of training. He's level three now. Okay. We need one more talent point, then we can get the better brides. Which we really want. So that's good. And we do actually have a unit with... It embellishes my undead features. Eight initiative now, so we can use this one for plus eight accuracy and plus eight evasion. That is very, very nice. And she has nine initiative, so we have two units with eight initiative or more. So very cool. And that is going to be it for this time guys so next episode we will get another minion here and we will move up into battle ah we can't go that way damn it we're not going to get that steli or that sacrificial altar okay that kind of sucks dang it all right but that is it, so thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.